Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the show that never ends. My name is Rod, and I'm your happy hippie, and I'm here to do a video um, about some VCLT I've gotten, about the new Grateful Dead reissue, and a couple other things. Shout out to Frank at Channel 33. Got to represent my fellow VC members. Also representing Noble Records. And I want to do some shout outs. I'm going to do my shout outs first. Um, Deep Track Zach, great channel. Check him out, please. Steve Westman, uh, he's an analog guy. Very, very uh, knowledgeable cat. You'll learn a lot from him. Steve Westman, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, go check out his channel. I want to shout out to both the Randys, Randy or Randall Weaver. And Randall Nelson, by the way, Randall Nelson is having a contest. So uh, I've not got on that yet. I got to do that. B at B sides, B E A sides, B at B sides. Uh, the Jazz Shepherd, great channel. He doesn't need my help getting out there. Everyone probably knows who the Jazz Shepherd is. Ron Haggerty has a new channel. It's called Vinyl Pasta. Ron Haggerty. Took down his old channel. He's redoing it. And check it out. And there's a new channel in town, guys. Um, it's NC Vinyl Picker. Picker. So it's NC Space Vinyl Picker, a.k.a. Art. Um, really, I think it's going to be a very good channel. Very cool guy. It seems very knowledgeable about music. He's been around for a while, commenting on people's videos and he's uh, decided to start a channel. So let's support NC Vinyl Picker, a.k.a. Art. Okay, let's get on to some VCLT. And this is part of my prize winnings from the Vinyl Lottery. If you don't know, I hit the lottery back in July. God, that was such a cool day to find out I hit it. And I've gotten so much cool stuff. And it's still coming in. And I want to thank everyone who's already sent me stuff. And I've mailed cards out, thank you cards. If you've not gotten a thank you card for me, from me, if I've not sent you a thank you card, I I had a list of people I was sending them to. And I don't know if I got to everyone. So if I have it, let me know. And it's not that I neglected you. I know Laval Andrew, I, I lost your address. And he sent me this great electric light orchestra album and i became a fan all over again fantastic album fantastic gift but for example i lost his address um anyway so i've been trying to send out thank you cards to everyone who sent me stuff and i got another package today and i know who this is from because he's my friend zach blabbeth that's why I did not give him a shout-out, because this is his shout-out. Zach Blabbeth has been around the VC probably five, six, seven years. And he's another guy that's had different channels, and he starts over, and he's laid back as hell. He's got a great taste in music. He's just an all-around good person. Anyway, he sent me some stuff, and he, and he messaged me and said, Hey, man, I'm having, I think he said the record store send it out. So I have no idea what this is. I even forgot what letter he had. If you don't know what the lottery was, it had 33 volunteers and I was one of them. So it was 32 people. The first 26 were assigned a letter. Other people were assigned colors or numbers. And I forgot what, uh, I'm not even gonna look. Okay, he got Y. So he got the letter Y. Let's see what homeboy sent me. I'm not looking. Not looking. I love vinyl. Oh my gosh, no way. Look at this. This is awesome. Neil Young, brother. I needed an upgrade copy. I don't know how he knew that. Oh, I even got a sticker from the record store, Wooden Tooth. He had to mail it to me. Um, even came with a sleeve, and this is unopened. This is a reissue, and um, I could pause this video and grab my copy 
and show you how worn out it is. It's over here in Wise. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Probably make a fool of myself because I'm going to forget which is which. Here we go. Y down here. Look at that. So <clears throat> I needed an upgrade copy. And I got it from Zach Blabeth. And this is one of those albums that never, ever, ever gets old. Um, this and Harvest are my two favorite albums by, uh, by Neil. Um, I don't know how he knew I needed a, a radio show, a, a replacement copy of mine. Um, thank you very, very much, Zach. Um, that's a must-have. And it's one of those albums... For me, anyway, I hate rebuying an album I've already got because there's other albums out there. So this is just, this is just so flipping cool. Zach Blabbeth, thank you so much. What a hell of a guy, man. And you'll be getting a thank you card and a pack of stickers from me. And I won't forget you because uh, it's I just got it. I make a mental note. Okay, let's go on with some more of the video. And um, this is the Grateful Dead Dave's Picks, Volume 39. This just came out a week or two ago. And I forget who, uh, who I originally saw talk about. It was probably Randy Weaver or maybe JT. Um, and this is such a good set. It was recorded at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, April 26, 1983. And I forgot who it was in the VC who told me they were actually at this show. If it was you that told me that, man, comment in the video below, because that's really, really cool. Um, There's a wonderful set of music. Um, around this time, a lot of people think they were getting burnt out and they seem tired and worn out, but they seem really fresh this night. And it's got some amazing songs on here. All their shit's good. All their stuff is good. Um, they kick off the first set with Shakedown Street and that automatically gets you up and wanting to dance. Uh, my little four-year-old granddaughter, she loves Shakedown Street. She just dances and dances to it. But anyway, Dave's Picks 39. Really happy to get that. And also this iconic album. And yeah, I hate the word iconic, but it is. This is The Grateful Dead. That is an early issue. It's probably not an original. It is a very early issue of The Grateful Dead. It's a self-titled album, but it's picked up the nickname... Skull and Roses, but um, originally the band wanted to name it, and I wrote it down, Skull Fuck, excuse the language, Skull F-U-C-K, and the record label, they were not cool with that, and this is when Mickey was taking a, a break from the band, Pigpen was still alive, of course Jerry Garcia, there's Pig, um, fantastic album it just celebrated its 50th anniversary so i pre-ordered this back in march yeah i know i wasn't going to buy any more albums but i ordered this back on march 25th and i got it the day it came out friday and i've been really good about not buying records i mean i bought one record after record store day even though i said i wasn't but it was a uh, it was a record store day issue, so I kind of lied to myself and said that was okay. Anyway, that, excuse the glare. It's almost cover for cover. I mean, it's much brighter on the reissue, and the only thing different is on the back of the original or on the early issue, there's the list of songs, but on the 50th anniversary, it's not there. Inside artwork, identical. Um, and it came with the sticker. 
um, that the original did. Let up. It's over here. I'll grab it. What the heck? We've already got it once. It came with a replica of the sticker. So, I'm really happy to have this album. I've already had it, but this sounds great. Uh, Bertha is my favorite song on this album. Um, side one kicks off with Bertha, then Mama Tried. Um, they close that side one with playing in the band. Um... They got me and Bobby McGee, me and my uncle, Johnny Be Good, Not Fade Away. This is uh, part of the reason I used to call them the world's greatest cover band, because they could take any song and make it their own. So uh, this is a great album to start with, with The Grateful Dead. I usually say American Beauty or Working Man's Dead, um, but this is also a great one. Um, if you like 80s rock and you're not real familiar with the Grateful Dead, you think about trying them out, I'd get in the dark because that's really an 80s album. It sounds 80s. But this album is just iconic. Um, it was their best selling album they ever did until they released um, Skeletons in the Closet, which was their greatest hits album. And that's their number one, their number one selling album. Of their catalog but this one is the first of their albums to be officially certified gold um, fantastic album um, love it to death I've already played the new copy like probably three or four times I knew it was coming so that morning I played the original I have and when I got it that afternoon I put it on and it really is a big difference Maybe my album's just worn out, but it just seems sharper and has, I don't want to say more of a punch. It just has a little bit more to it. I think they did a great job redoing it. If you've got the reissue, the new 50th anniversary, let me know what you think. I've seen some great reviews on it. I love it. I haven't heard anyone say anything bad about it. Um, and I'm definitely glad I got that, man. Anyway, this was a rambling video. Zach Blabbeth, thank you so much for Mr. Neil Young. Guess what I'm going to be playing this evening? Yeah, I'm going to be playing Neil Young. Um, I want to tell everyone out there, man, thank you for watching my videos. If you've not subscribed before, hit the subscribe button. It don't cost you anything. Don't hit the not notification button. Don't hit the notification button because I tell you why. It always is going to go off at a time that you don't want to be bothered. You're going to look at it and you're like, who's this idiot? And you're going to unsubscribe. So just like the video, subscribe, support other VC channels. If you're new in the VC, welcome. Just be yourself and just enjoy the music and share the music. Peace. Take a minute out of your time to be good to somebody today.